。Hey, what's up, guys? AVXY here, and I'm doing a little new series, I guess, and I'm gonna be talking about quite a few topics、um, throughout this. And it's gonna be some, I guess, an interesting video if you pay attention to the zombie community, because it it, it does involve the little clickbait scandals that people are doing.、Um, and I'm also just gonna talk about my channel for quite some time too. I'm gonna try to limit this to a seven-minute video because I ranted for like ten minutes one time trying to make a video before. And then the video just shit out on me, so I stopped doing that. But anyway, let's get into it. I am tenth prestige thirty two. If you recall, I did become tenth、uh, prestige thirty five. I think over a month ago. And when I prestige, it deranked me, and I contacted the support, and they told me that if I or if this happens again, tell them, tell them. And I'm like, I'm not going through an extra set of prestiges. So I think they locked. 30, or they lock Prestige Master just even from trying to do it. So I'm not gonna even try because if I get deranked again, I'm gonna be very upset because it will. I I haven't even touched zombies after I got deranked. I accept to make a video or so. But the series is gonna be Road to Max Weapons. I have Hex for all the weapons. There's a difference between having Hex for every weapon and actually having a max rank. So. I think I am at three more weapons to go, and it is the dredge, the gorgon, and the rocket launcher, and also the Bowie knife. But the Bowie knife barely moves. I don't even know why I spent that. I thought I needed to link it. But anyway, what I want to talk about is like a topic-wise is clickbait. There is a lot of controversy with TGR and Mr. Lex Fifty or Lexify, whatever the hell his name is. I I watched his video for about. Two minutes and midway, I got a really bad headache, so I just stopped listening, and I shut it off. And I just thought about how the community has changed. I've been a YouTuber since 2009, and 2009 was really there was no zombies out at that time. So around 2010 was my first zombie video, and it was World at War. I had a good time playing it, and I had a good time recording. But I had it on a channel that had 86 subs with like 100,000 total upload views. Because back then I made those crappy videos where it actually somehow got a lot of views, but a lot of dislikes at the same time. So that was a good time.、Um, but I've jumped around many channels. I've had a lot of successful channels, but I keep dropping them due to copyright.、Uh, I finally learned not to get copyright. So this is my last channel. I only have 600 subs, so I don't know who's gonna be watching this, but I do post a lot of videos that aren't clickbait, and actually all my videos aren't clickbait. My, whatever my title says is true and what it is.、Um, I think my original videos, which aren't copied from anyone <laughs> or any titles or any information, are a zombies myth mythbusters and a ultimate strategy for Shadows of Evil. And that actually got all both of them 20k likes plus or 20k views plus. My bad. And it also didn't have any misleading titles. It didn't have any、um, any misleading thumbnails. It was just text, a zombie, and that was a thumbnail. <laughs>、um, and it actually did well. But anyway, with the clickbait back in 2010 to 2000, like 12, there wasn't any intentional. Clickbait whatsoever. There wasn't also this many zombie YouTubers back in the day. There was probably just big YouTubers back then. Who was it? NGT Zombies. They were always around. They were doing custom zombies for quite some time too.、Um, I also think, geez, this is a, this is a tough one. The right, the relaxing end. He didn't really do informational videos. He doesn't talk really. He just does、um, great gameplay. But anyway. What there is now, there's just people posting the most misleading thumbnails. Not even titles. The thumbnails just look interesting and intriguing, so people click on it, and it's the most false information possible. And I don't, I don't know why, but every YouTuber that's been talking about clickbait has done clickbait, and they, they just have a misleading title. They copy whoever. They're also bandwagon YouTubers, most of them. Where they just sit around and wait for an, a not so not so sure informational video, basically theory wise,、um, leak wise. I you did air quotes, but you can't see because this is a video. But anyway, 
I, I don't know why this is such a big deal. Clickbait's always going to be around. Um, you just have to get used to it. If you're not getting views without using clickbait, then you got to either make higher quality videos or you better just stop YouTube. <laughs> that, that's really it. I mean, I've been going strong for how many years? Seven years? Six years? I, I don't even know. And I've had very successful channels and I have uh, a few a few downers, but you know what? We do what we do. And I just like making YouTube videos. You have to stick to what you like, and you also have to not be an asshole while you do it. You gotta have... I have a few loyal fans. That's good, I think. They comment on every one of my videos. But uh, anyway, we're at the five minute mark. I will do another video tomorrow. And I will start a new series where I do Throwback Thursdays, where I'll just play any old zombie map, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I'll just play it for shits and gigs. And 